the time. We are thrilled. Very thrilled. This morning to have Marv Levy in the studio with us right now. One of our biggest, most famous guests that we've had that we're thrilled about. I'd say the most famous guest. I would so say far, so yeah. too. I mean, you've had, you've led the team, the Bills, to four straight four, Super yeah. Bowls. You're in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. um, you're just great. And I'm on your program. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You're a gentleman. To be, well, yeah, we're here to talk about Between the Lies. That's the new book. Um, it's, a, it's a mix of everything, it seems like. A little fiction, a little behind the scenes, what it's like to be a coach and a player. And, and tell us about it. Right well, there. you got a pretty good description of it right there, Joe. Yes, it is fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, everybody asks me, are you hinting at something? <laughs> because the main theme, a, a legendary sports writer, Mel Herbert, uncovers that his hometown team coach has orchestrated a massive cheating plan to get his team to the Super Bowl. Well, can he divulge the story? That, will the evidence fly? Will he be sued for libel, his paper? Will he get fired? Will he break the hearts of his hometown fans? All of that. But it's a lot about a lot more than just football. Uh, there's a love story. There, there are some... Uh, I asked. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, th th there's some inside looks at the coach, general manager, owner relationships at the back and forth between coach and media. Uh, there are some love stories in it. There are some, uh, I hope there's humor and, uh, and, uh, and a lot that would intrigue the I, readers. I, I love the names of the characters. The owner of the team is Cedric B. Medill, which is Cecil B. De it's a play yeah. on words. Play, right, right so, uh, correct. Did you use any characters that you knew, I mean, from the team? I mean, they're very similar, some of them, the names for the characters in your novel? Well, some of the names, yes. One of the quarterbacks is Kelly James, which right. is a play on, on Jim <laughs> Kelly, of course, and, uh, and a running back named uh, Tommy Thurber instead of Thurman Thomas. Right. Uh, some of that. There are other uh, names which I have in there, I hope, just for, for amusement purposes. There's a great running back, Donnell Gibraltar, who has the nickname Rocket, so he's Rocket Gibraltar. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, and, and by the way, in the book, there is the first lady general manager in the history of the It's about game. time. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Lily Napoleon is her name. <laughs> oh, Bill. I love that. That's great. I want to ask you, this is your first novel. You've written two other books about the Bills and about your experiences with the coaches. We should tell folks, though, you're a Harvard, you have your master's degree from Harvard University, English history. Was it difficult to go this end, though, to the novel? Well, the novel, it, it was, a, I made this statement before, it's a little bit like coaching in that. It was a lot of hard work, but it was a lot of fun. But all through my coaching career, I said, well, someday if I have the time, I'd like to write a novel. So I put aside potential plot lines and character studies and uh, interesting scenarios. And finally, when I retired, it was time to come. And it was a lot of work, but it was, again, fun. But I think, uh, as Victoria mentioned, you have, you have a Harvard degree. I think that's why so many people in, in the football industry think of you as more than just a coach. And uh, do you like that title? I mean, how do you feel when people say You're not just a pretty just, face. Right, exactly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> but it must be an honor to be thought of that way, not just a guy on the sidelines who we watch and that's what most of us see. Yeah, well, okay, I hope, I think every coach is more than just a coach. Uh, there, there are guys that are competent in other areas, good family guys yeah. and so on. Uh, yeah, I was academically oriented. I, I definitely was. And by the way, today's bills, speaking of that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, Fitzpatrick is a Harvard grad. Uh, we've got a Harvard grad, a quarterback, and a co-college grad where I did my undergraduate work as a running back, Fred Jackson. we got a smart team, and you had something to do. You spotted those guys early on. Right. Well, yeah, so you're, when I I was back as general manager of the Bills. We did bring Fred Jackson aboard and and had uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick high on our on our list. Yes, he seems to be panning out right now. Yeah, he, absolutely. He, he, boy, it was yesterday. <laughs> day, huh? Do you see any similarities with, between your team with Jim Kelly and Thurman Thomas with these guys? Did you watch yesterday? Well. Again, I don't know this group that well, of course, but I see some character in this team, and that was the underlying factor in ours. One of those guys with great character went up on the Wall of Fame this weekend, Phil Hansen, Hansen. for instance. Uh, so I do see that similarity. Uh, but uh, the game evolves. Uh, hey, everything evolves. Technology evolves. Medicine evolves. Um, so, but there are similarities. The similarity is they could come from behind. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. I just what want to game, ask really. you also, do you... Um, Keep in touch with Ralph Wilson. Yes, I do. He unfortunately didn't make it for the first time to one of the games. You know, can you give us an update on his health and how he's doing? All I, I know, he, Ralph had fallen and broken a hip. 
So he couldn't manipulate around to get up the, yeah. through the stadium and the crowds and so on. I speak with him on the phone upon occasion. He's sharp as ever, yeah. sharp as can be. Uh, he says he's having difficulty with his balance, and that led to part of the problem which he's experiencing now. All right, well, we wish him the best. Marv Levy, Hall of Fame. Bill's coach sitting on our couch right now. I'm not ever going to sit in that chair again. I bet. Oh, I'm uh, yes, bronze yes. It. And your book, <laughs> Between the Lines, is available on yeah. Amazon, and you're going to be at uh, Wegmans. I'm going to be at Wegmans Mall. McKinley Mall tonight from 5 till 6.30 for a book signing event. I have a feeling people will show up. I'll look Maybe forward to seeing those great fans. <laughs> a busy man. Thank you very much, Victoria. Joe, thank, thank you very, you very much. much.